Hi everyone, welcome to Managing Employee Performance. In this session, we're gonna talk about how to conduct effective performance reviews. I'm Lisa Yankowitz and I will be your facilitator. Before I get into the discussion about performance reviews, let me tell you a little about myself. I'm an employment lawyer, although I'm not a practicing attorney. Primarily, I provide training, coaching, and consulting on a wide range of human resource compliance and performance topics. For the past 10 years, if they know your intentions are sincere, they'll give you constructive comments that you need. As I work with managers and the members of their team, one of the things I hear from both is that the performance review process is uncomfortable, for some even intimidating. So it's important to do what you can to create the right atmosphere. One of the first things to consider is when and where to schedule the meeting. Make sure you give plenty of advance notice so that both of you have time to prepare. Also consider the day of the week and time of day that works best for both of you involving your employee in the process and demonstrating your commitment to their success. Now, let's get into the structure of the meeting, how to conduct the conversation. Now, I think a typical paradigm goes something like this. The manager sits down with the employee, pulls out the forms, and for the next 45 minutes or so, proceeds to tell the employee how they think they did. Doesn't sound very engaging. So what are SMART goals? Here's an easy way to remember it. S stands for specific. We want to make sure that we're defining the what, why, and the how of our goals. It's great to know what we want to do, but unless we're specific, we're really not going to get anywhere. M stands for measurable. We want to make sure that we set a goal in terms of something that can actually be measured. Without metrics, how will you know you're achieving success? As an example, for a manufacturer, reducing scrap sounds like a good goal, right? Wrong. Reducing scrap from three and a half barrels of scrap per week to no more than two barrels is a better goal because they will know if they're achieving results or not. It's measurable. A stands for attainable. 